teaser trailers, and early gameplay videos always get gamers hyped. But video game development is a difficult process. Sometimes, even the most promising titles end up in the can. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 cancelled video games. For this list, we've selected games that were officially announced. So those of you looking for Half-Life 3, it can't make the list since its development has neither been confirmed nor denied. Number 10, BC. In BC, players would have been tasked with developing a tribe of cavemen fighting for survival in a dinosaur-infested world. Realistic ecosystems and food chains were promised, so if you hunted a certain type of animal too much, it would go extinct and cause a chain reaction that could lead to long-term catastrophe. It sounded like a really ambitious idea, and it was, in fact, too ambitious. BC was cancelled after its developers determined that its scope was too big for it to be completed in a way that would satisfy gamers. Number 9. Thrill Kill Just several weeks before it hit stores, publisher Virgin Interactive had to cancel Thrill Kill after they were acquired by Electronic Arts. After the game got the restrictive adults-only rating from the ESRB, the EA board eventually decided to cancel the game, citing its gory and rather offensive nature. Fortunately for those of you who are sadistic enough to want to try out this gory fighter, the developers decided to leak the near-completed version online after the game got canned. It must suck to work so long on something and then have it cancelled by some board members. But that's business for you. Number 8. Gotham by Gaslight The Arkham series is awesome, but before those games, there was another epic story-driven Batman game in development. Gotham by Gaslight was to be based on the comic book series of the same name, and throws Batman into a Victorian England steampunk setting where the main villain is Jack the Ripper. It sounds cool, but unfortunately, THQ couldn't secure the franchise rights to the iconic Caped Crusader, and this game was cancelled after only one teaser video was seen. Number 7, Prey 2. That's badass. The original Prey fused visceral, run-and-gun shooting gameplay with some interesting mechanics, such as the ability to manipulate gravity and make your Cherokee main character perform spirit walks. In Prey 2, you would have played a human bounty hunter with amnesia as he attempted to uncover his past and blast aliens on the planet Exodus. Somebody shoot this motherfucker! <laughs> Prey 2's development was troubled from the start, and after almost six years in development, the game was cancelled because it didn't meet Bethesda's quality standards. Six years of work down the drain? Youch. When the forest burns along the road. Number 6, Shenmue 3. Then they threw me out of the dojo. Perhaps no Sega property is as revered by hardcore gamers as the Shenmue series. <laughs> we all know of the demise of the Dreamcast and, despite Shenmue 2 being ported to the Xbox, it sold poorly even with rave reviews. Sega has no plans to finish the series, and what's worse is that according to developers, the story has been completed. While fans still cling to hope that it may still happen, seeing as the budget for the first two games was a whopping 70 million, it's unlikely that Sega will invest in a third. No! Number 5. Sadness There was a lack of adult-oriented games on the Wii, so it's a shame that Sadness never saw the light of day. One of the first games announced on the console, Sadness mixed beautiful black-and-white graphics with horror gameplay that was going to be tense and psychological. It promised a really unique storyline, dealing with mental disorders and family issues in a bleak, Eastern European setting. The game's release became questionable when no gameplay footage was ever shown, and it was eventually unceremoniously cancelled due to development issues. Number 4. Star Fox 2 Star Fox 2 had its plug pulled mere days before hitting stores, because Nintendo felt that the recently released N64 would translate to poor sales. The original Star Fox was an on-rail space shooter with innovative 3D graphics, and Star Fox 2 improved upon its gameplay with a more open-ended mission structure and bigger fleets of ships. Fans have translated the completed Japanese version, so although the game was officially cancelled, it's still rather playable, and its strategic layout eventually became part of Star Fox Command on the DS, 
so not all was lost. Number 3. StarCraft Ghost Blizzard also had another project, an MMO known as Titan, that was cancelled recently. Though, with StarCraft Ghost, Blizzard was planning on giving us an up-close and personal look at the much-loved StarCraft universe. In Ghost, a stealth shooter, you would have controlled a Terran ghost named Nova as she used various gadgets and technologies to sneak her way through hostile encampments. Blizzard has a really good track record with its games, so Ghost must have been cancelled for good reason, right? There are no maybes here, Lieutenant. They turned their spiny tails and ran away before the first dropships had set down. Number 2. Star Wars 1313 When Disney purchased Lucasfilm in 2013, they shut down its video game studio, LucasArts. Previously, Star Wars Battlefront 3 got frozen in carbonite in 2008, and 1313 was dropped down the Sarlacc pit with the developer's closure. Simply put, early gameplay footage of 1313 looked spectacular. It was meant to be the grittier, more violent take on the Star Wars universe that so many of us have been wanting for so long. Still, with the confirmed revival of the Battlefront series, one hopes that this highly anticipated third-person shooter is next in line for an awakening. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Turn around when I'm talking to you. Turn around, damn it! Ah! You broke my nose! Number 1. Multiple Mega Man Games Capcom certainly has a way of breaking the hearts of fans everywhere by cancelling not one, but four highly anticipated Mega Man games. First, there was Mega Man Legends 3, which was the long-awaited sequel to the cult classic Legends platformer series. Then there was Maverick Hunter, a dark and intense looking first person shooter. Then there was the Mega Man Universe, a sandbox that allowed players to create and share their own classic 2D Mega Man style stages. Finally, there was an MMO known as Mega Man Online. All of these games got the unceremonious chop. And now, with series creator Kenji Inafune having left Capcom to make Mighty No. 9, one of the most iconic video game characters of all time, may have well been cancelled himself. Are you disappointed with this list? Is there a cancelled game that you were really looking forward to? Who called in, Siege Tanks? For more highly anticipated top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.